concealing the violent history of the dogs they're putting up for adoption. Well, tonight, our David Goldstein exposes the potentially dangerous practice, and uh, he's here now and has more on what he's uncovered. Well, Pat and Jeff, should, how much should you, should you know about a dog you're about to adopt? That's the question after our investigation found a local animal shelter isn't telling all about some dangerous dogs that are up for adoption. Their faces say, adopt me. Cute, cuddly dogs with kennel cards saying happy. She'll respond well to sit commands. And I really love toys. <laughs> but our investigation found some of the dogs up for adoption at the Orange County Animal Care in Tustin have a dangerous past. And in some cases, the shelter isn't telling people who want to adopt. Did they tell you anything about the prior owner of the dog? Any of the dog's history? No. How the dog ended up there? Did no. they tell you anything about that? No. Dogs like Bubba, whose kennel card gave him a glowing review. I'm a happy boy. I love being petted and love attention. That's what Carlin Kinlow saw when she adopted Bubba earlier this year. Did you always want a dog? Yes, I always wanted a dog. But when she took him home, Bubba didn't act like a happy boy. Instead, he attacked her roommate. He just runs at his feet and is like biting at his feet. And that's when my roommate had to jump up on the counter. She didn't know the shelter withheld Bubba's past history. We obtained the shelter's own records about Bubba and his previous owner. The dog had to be impounded, put in quarantine, after Bubba grabbed onto the woman's hand and her daughter and wouldn't let go. They eventually had to slam her daughter's arm and Bubba's head in a doorway and squish his head to what? try to get him loose. Oh my gosh, no. They just asked if I had kids in my house and they said he didn't get along with kids they never nothing like that i would have never gotten that dog if i knew should the person who is adopting this animal know about that they absolutely should shelter director mike caviani admits they made a dangerous mistake your people didn't tell her anything about the bite history i admitted we didn't we didn't get it right that time we get it right almost every time but we obtained these internal records which show 32 dogs with bite histories at the shelter 23 had no warnings on their kennel cards nothing about previous bites but isn't that masking the dog's behavior no. Caviani says they don't put all the negatives on the kennel cards, but their policy is to tell people before they adopt. When you're dating, on the first date, do you say all of the really kind of things that you're really trying to work on as a human being? No, you're not airing that on the first date. Are you lying about that? Absolutely not. They have to be told. Madeline Bernstein is the president of the SPCA LA. Bites, whether you bite a shelter, personnel um, member or you bite a volunteer or the dog has been returned for a bite, that information must be told to uh, potential adopters. We also found the shelter drugged dozens of dogs. We obtained these internal records showing dogs treated with trazodone, which is an antidepressant. Dogs like Peter, a pit bull mix with a bite history, who was on the drug when we saw him in August. To see dozens of dogs that are given this drug, isn't that a red flag? Yes. Bernstein says trazodone could be used to change a dog's demeanor. The worst possible scenario is if, if you had a bite dog that was being sedated to fool a prospective adopter. But Caviani says the drug is only used for anxiety issues. He disputes our numbers. He gave us a document that shows only five dogs on trazodone on one day, two on another, and he says none now. Our population is not static, right? Our population is sure. fluid, so there's going to be times where we have zero like currently, there's going to be times where we have more. But they still have dogs with hidden bite histories. In the lobby, packaged for the holidays, is Fenway. Our internal documents show he bit people looking to adopt him at the shelter. And after Carlin returned Bubba to the shelter, he was adopted out to a rescue group. You think you have a right to know everything about the dog yeah. before you adopt the dog? Yeah, same thing as when you're buying anything. I feel like you should have the right to know. <laughs> And beginning January 1st, a new law will take effect. It mandates that shelters or rescue groups have to disclose the bite history of a dog where a person's skin is broken. So they hope that that goes into effect. All these shelters will have to tell people about the history.
because some people may still want to adopt, they sure, knowing and, and that because they, they can deal sure, with that or they can handle that. Right, right, and we hope they do adopt and, and pit bulls or whatever breed out there, but people should know the history of the dog, why the dog was Absolutely. brought into the shelter. Absolutely. That's fair. Okay. Wow. Thank you, David. Thanks, David.